everyone, it's Laura from the Brantford Public Library, and thanks so much for joining me today for another one of our Literacy Skills Story Times. Today, I will be focusing on print awareness. Now, print awareness is a pretty fancy term, and really, what it's all about is making children aware that letters and words that they see all around them have meaning. This also applies to how we read. We need to know which way to hold our book, right? Which way is the right way? Uh huh. We also need to know where the beginning of the book is and the end of the book. And also, it, has to, it applies to the direction in which we read. So we know that we need to read from left to right and that we go from top to bottom on our page. So print is everywhere and understanding that the letters and words that we see represent something is just the beginning of a child's adventure in learning to read. So now that we figured that out, Let's get on to our opening song. Do you have your clapping hands ready? Mine are ready? Okay, here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. And next we'll wave. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Okay, we've got ourselves all warmed up. I have a fun book for us today. Are you ready for it? Okay, here we go. All right, I have my book. It's called, wait, what's wrong with my book? You're right, it's upside down. Much better. Okay, my book today is called Monster Boogie and it's by Lori Berkner, illustrated by Ben Clanton. And I'm reading it today with permissions from Simon and Schuster. Now, as we're reading the book, I'd like you to pay attention to different things throughout our book. Sometimes words are tiny and located in different places. Sometimes words are big. Sometimes there's words that are colored. Lots of fun things. And another great way to help with print awareness is to use your finger to follow along as you're reading. So we're gonna do that today. Here we go. Monster Boogie. Oh. I have a little word here and it's right next to a door and it says creak I'm the biggest monster that you've ever seen Eep. my eyes are what color is our let our letters here in our word purple my eyes are purple and my teeth are color are our letters here and our word here? Green. Ooh, green teeth. I'm big and I'm scary. You know what I mean? And this is what I like to do. Oh no, what does he want to do? I do the monster boogie. The monster boogie. The monster boogie round the room. Everybody does the monster boogie, the monster boogie, the monster boogie. So can you. Ooh, not very scary. Cuz I'm the biggest monster that you've ever seen you've ever seen. My eyes are, what color is your word here? Yellow. And my teeth are green. Green again. I'm big and I'm hairy. You know what I mean. And this is what I like to do. I do the monster wiggle. The monster wiggle. The monster wiggle round the room. Everybody does the monster wiggle. The monster wiggle. The, the monster wiggle. So can you.
monster boogie. I hope you liked it as much as I do. Today I have brought my sticks with me. You could try this at home too. You don't have to have sticks like mine. I mean, you could go and find anything in your house that's straight like this. You could tap together, right? Or you could go maybe on a walk and find some sticks in the woods or on a trail somewhere. Whatever you have that will work. First, should we tap our sticks? I'm tapping on my sticks. I'm tapping on my sticks. Hi ho the dairy oh, I'm tapping on my sticks. Very good. Now, what we're gonna use our sticks for today is to make letters. So we need two sticks for these letters. Our first letter, we just need one though, and it is the letter I, right? I can make the letter I, letter I, letter I. I can make the letter I with my stick. Can you think of anything that starts with the letter I? Ice cream, igloo, you're right. All right, our next one, we need two sticks. One, two, and we'll make the letter L. Hmm, ready? I can make the letter L, letter L, letter L. I can make the letter L with my sticks. Very good. Can you think of a couple words that begin with the letter L? Hmm. Library, you're right, L. And I know another one. I know it really well, actually. My name, Laura. Laura begins with the letter L. There we go. Next, the letter T. Hmm. Can you do this one too? Here we go. I can make the letter T, letter T, letter T. I can make the letter T with my sticks. Hmm. Can you think of two words that begin with the letter T? Train. That's a good one. What else? What else? What can we think of that begins with the letter T? Tree. You're right. Tree is good. Next we have a V. Okay, letter V, are you ready? I can make the letter V, letter V, letter V. I can make the letter V with my sticks. Can you think of two words that begin with the letter V? Violin, oh, we could play the violin, yes. What else begins with the letter V? Violet, oh, violet's a pretty flower, or maybe your name is Violet. Here we go, V. Okay, our last letter is the letter X. X marks the spots and I love, I'm sure that a pirate would love the letter X. Here we go. I can make the letter X, letter X, letter X. I can make the letter X with my sticks. X is a tricky one. Do you know any words that begin with the letter X? X-ray, you're right. And xylophone, you're right. And those were my sticks. You could try that at home too. One of the reasons that I love Monster Boogie so much is that it's actually a song as well. Can I do the song with you? Okay, here we go. Monster Boogie. I think there might be some dancing involved. I don't know. Boogie? We'll see. <laughs> I'm the biggest monster that you've ever seen. My eyes are what color? purple and my teeth are ugh, green. I'm big and I'm scary. You know what I mean. And this is what I like to do. I do the monster boogie, the monster boogie, the monster boogie round the room. Everybody does the monster boogie, the monster boogie, the monster boogie. So can you, it's you, can you try it? Okay, get ready. Cause I'm the biggest monster that you've ever seen. <gasps> my eyes are, what color this time? Yellow and my teeth are green. I'm big and I'm hairy. You know what I mean? And this is what I like to do. 
I do the monster wiggle, the monster wiggle, the monster wiggle round the room. Everybody does the monster wiggle, the monster wiggle, the monster wiggle. So can you. So much fun. And now, of course, we cannot do a print awareness story time without singing one of the most famous songs ever, perhaps. Do you know this song? It has a lot of letters in it. You're right. Let's sing the alphabet. Can you do it with me? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Did you sing along with me? Excellent. Great job, everyone. That was fantastic. So much fun to sing the ABCs. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone, for our literacy skills story time, where today we focused on what did we focus on? Print awareness, you're right. So remember, helping children to understand that letters and words that they see have meaning is a big step in helping them with their reading adventure, right? Uh, they often say that the child's first sight word that they'll ever recognize is their name. So really having your child's name in different places all the time is a great benefit to you and to them. So of course they wanna recognize their name, right? I hope you had fun today. I had a great time. Are you ready for our goodbye rhyme? We'll get our wiggly fingers ready. Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers and wave them all goodbye. Thanks again, everyone, for joining me for our literacy skills story time. Don't forget, if you're looking for more fun things to try again at home, don't uh, visit our website, brantfordlibrary.ca, for our home-based activities. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.